everybody Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house, having my iced coffee with all of you. Well, today I want to get started by the Prezi that I picked up from the post office yesterday. I had received notification that it was finally there. Thank goodness it was shipped a long time ago, and it got delayed. Every stop it made, it was delayed. So I want to open this right now. In fact, one of the things that was sent to me, I'm wearing... I'm wearing, I already opened it, and the reason why I already opened it is because when I went to pick it up, the lady was holding it, like, a, a, about as high as her chest, and she dropped it, and it tumbled onto the floor. So, it was an accident. Um, so, I took it outside to the truck and opened it up just to make sure there was nothing broken in it, because if it did, I was going to take it right back in and show them and let them know what had happened. I don't know if it was insured or not, but anyhow, yep, one of the things... That was sent to me and this is by Tanya um, she goes by designer T and she sent me some t-shirts this is one of them and it's so comfortable it fits perfect and then uh, let me show you the other two that she sent to one of them she uh, gave instructions because she knows I like to wear loose fitting clothing I don't like them to be too terribly tight she explained that this next one might look a little bit too tight but she had to get it because it has a saying on it can you read that? Blessed and dog obsessed. That This is going to fit fine. This is going to fit just fine. And you know what? I don't have any orange shirts, so this is awesome. So she sent me the orange one and a white one. The white one has a pocket on it, too. So that's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. And I will use the heck out of these. I love getting t-shirts because they're so comfortable. She also sent me um, a very lovely letter. And I'm not going to read it for you. It is two full pages long, and it was just very touching. Tanya, I really do hope that you can achieve your dream. I know it's hard finding land up in your area. That's why I left Ohio, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to find any land that I could afford, that I could put the kind of dwelling that I wanted to live in on um, because of the city ordinances and code rules and whatnot. Um, so I hope you find the right place and you can start your own journey and I hope you'll keep us updated on how that goes. And um, she gave me a Bible verse and I love this. It's Psalms 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart Trust in Him, and I'm helped, therefore my heart greatly rejoices. And with my song, I will praise Him. That is just beautiful. Sometimes you got to be reminded of these things. And she sent me a little envelope, self-addressed stamp, so I can write her back. I'm going to write you back, but I'm hoping that you can read my handwriting because I've got terrible, terrible handwriting. Okay, she sent me a ton of wonderful essential things napkins. I actually prefer to use napkins over paper towels um, because sometimes, you know, you, you tear a napkin or a paper towel and you tear too many off and whatnot. Um, and plus, you can find napkins, so that is great. She also sent me several tubs of these and uh, Connie had sent me some and I have used every single last one of those to either store things in, eat in, or, or whatever. So she sent me two, two of these size, one's round, one square, um, oops, and I already had to break into one because I made um, that puffball, puffball mushroom patch that I found. I have been cooking the heck out of those mushrooms last night for dinner, and I'm sorry, I'm tired. It's first thing in the morning. I haven't even drank my whole coffee yet. Um, I made some basically puffball chili with it. It's just like chili without the beans, and puffball mushrooms are packed with protein, so I had to use one of these for the leftovers. Oh, two-piece kitchen shear set. Oh, okay, now, I didn't look at every single bag. I just felt around to make sure that nothing sounded broken and whatnot, so I haven't seen every single last thing, and she's got each one of them wrapped in um, plastic baggies. Two-piece chicken uh, kitchen. I'm tired. I need coffee. Uh, kitchen shear set, and the this is great because these shears are so strong you can practically cut through like metal wire through them. Of course that'll kind of ruin them, but 
That is wonderful. I will definitely use those. See, she's got these all wrapped up like this. I don't know what's in this one. But I can, I can see. I can see what it is. And I needed more of these. I absolutely needed more of these. Look at this. And I love this design, too. A little oven mitt. What? Oh, my gosh. A knee support. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And it's for the right or left knee. So I am going to put this on today because my right knee has been bothering the heck out of me. You know, you've heard me complain about it. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, look. A box cutter. You know how much I like to go ch -ch -ch. And that little knife that I have, the blade is totally dull now. So this is actually going to be easier to use. It's going to become my new ch -ch thing and has a refill of blades in it. So that is wonderful. Look at this. I was considering buying some new knives because all my knives are just terrible. And these are a three-piece cutlery set, forged construction for better stability. And they come with their own little sheaths you can put them in to protect the blades and so that if you're reaching into the drawer, you don't cut your fingers off when you're trying to find them. So this is great. I've got my knives. Yes. Oh. I got my big bowl. I got my big bowl. Oh, a bunch of, well, cotton balls. Q-tips, and I need these because this ear, I don't know what it is. Every time I take a shower, I get a little water in it, and I think some wax buildup. I know that's gross, but um, I've been having trouble getting it cleaned out, and then I can still feel the, the water in it, so that's great. Oh, triple antibiotic ointment. You can never have too much of that. Some antibacterial bandages, band-aids, and oh, this is great. I am actually almost out of dental floss, so I needed this. This is great. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. And she put on it for Judy and you. Dogs love Frisbees. She's going to love this. We're going to have a blast, blast playing outside with this. I've been, I don't, I don't want to take any of her toys outside um, that are like the ropes and stuff because it just it gets in the mud and it gets all dirty So this one will be easy to clean off and she will love playing with it Plastic straws I use the heck out of plastic straws snack bags. Oh, yes yeah, snack bags Sometimes some of the stuff that I want to store there isn't you know, I mean the, there's not enough to put in a big bag so these are little bags sandwich bags Ziploc sandwich bags Wax paper. This is a luxury. So many times I've needed wax paper for either wrapping or baking or whatever. Um, and it's just a luxury, so I don't get it. So I've got some now. Oh, cling wrap. Heck yes. Don't have any cling wrap. Also a luxury. I usually just default to like, um, you know, foil and whatnot. But sometimes you don't want to wrap stuff in foil, really. You don't want to put the aluminum against the food, so... Foil sheets. These are great because they just come in sheets. You don't have to try and rip it off, you know what I mean? And I always rip them like totally crooked. Flexible cutting mats. I actually needed some of these. I can just put them all across. I'm basically just going to put them all across the top of that little, you know, the kitchen cabinet thing that I've got all my stuff on. Um, because the top of that wood is actually very soft and it's got paint on it so you know you can't really use it as a countertop to like you know put food on or anything or cut on um, because it's just very soft and the paint comes off it's it's not sealed paint so this has three different colored mats absolutely this is so essential for me right now so I've been trying to make it by just because I don't have a cutting board to just kind of like cut on plates and stuff like that. And that's kind of a pain in the butt. So this is going to be great. I can look over there right now. And I think that three, two, three will be the perfect size. Oh, thank you so much. And that's it. Oh, except for the newspaper, which I can use for the warm bin. For the warm bin and in, uh, for the chicken coop as well. <sighs> Tanya, 
You just, you did great. I love all these things. I'm so glad it finally, finally arrived. It took forever. The moment I found out it was at the post office, I decided I was going to go get it. So I did. Thank you so much. Well, I took the day off yesterday, so I don't know what I need to do today. It's supposed to rain yet again. So I don't know if I'll be able to do any projects outside. All right, well, let's get this day started. Oh my goodness, this is actually on my neighbor's property. It's out by the street. What are these? They are so pretty. It looks like there's going to be a whole bunch of them that are going to bloom. There's some more back there. i got to find out what this is. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh my goodness, can it be? Is this passion fruit? I'm going to have to consult with Papa Pepper because he grows these and he knows all about them. If this is passion fruit, I am going to see if I can ask my neighbor if I can find a way to maybe dig up one of the vines and plant it on my land and see if I can get it to grow. Oh, what a wonderful thing if this is actually passion fruit. I wanted to share with you this photo that Megan sent me that her and her family post for. It is a happy birthday poster that they made themselves. Look, at it's got chickens and it's got a little puppy dog. Happy birthday, Anne. This is so awesome. And look at everybody in their little mask and whatnot. They look so cute. Oh my goodness. Megan, make sure you give all of them hugs and kisses for me and tell them thank you very much. And they did a great job on the poster. And remember this flower that I found that I thought was a passion fruit? Well, I emailed Papa Pepper and he got back with me and he said, yes, this is definitely a passion fruit plant. And he said, I just need to get up as much of the root as possible. And he transplants them all the time. So I'm going to save that for tomorrow's video. I am so excited, you guys. I just can't believe it. So I'm going to look for one of his videos on passion fruit and link it down below. But this video is long enough, you guys. So that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.